end well. Amen. Can I hear loud? Amen. amen. You will end well. Amen. That amen can be better. Amen. The sound is a bit buzzy on the stage, please. Hallelujah. It's been a great journey with the Lord, the good God himself. Hallelujah. When he declared the month to us, it's a month of a new thing. Praise the Lord. And you will agree with me, he has indeed done a new thing. Praise the Lord. You will end well. <clears throat> you will end well. You will end well. Now say it smiling, I will end well. I mean, say it smiling, I will end well. In the consciousness of the spirit, say it again in the name of Jesus, I will end well. Say it again, by the help of the Holy Ghost, I will end well. Say so in his name, I am ending well. Praise the Lord. I'm speaking this morning on the subject, securing the glory of a new thing. <clears throat> securing the glory of a new thing. Securing the glory of a new thing. When we are in a new chapter, great things happen and most time the unexpected are revealed. God as a plan, an agenda for everyone. And his plan is that you succeed. He says, I know the thoughts that I think towards you. He said, they are the thoughts of peace and not of evil. The thoughts of peace and not of evil. The almighty God would have says, I know the thought I think of you. It is the thought of peace. But he wants you and I to have an understanding that at the emergence of new things, there can be experiences of negative things, but I'm not sending them. Is somebody following me? I'm not sending them. My hand is not with it. My hand is not behind it. I am not the author of evil. I want everyone to have access to great grace and glory. I want everyone to have access to my divine plans. So every time you see divine plans, there are also negative manipulations, manifestations. But God is telling you that it's not coming from him. In James 1.17, gave us a vivid understanding of that when it says that every good and perfect gift comes from the Lord, the Father of life, in whom there is no variableness, nor what? Nor shadow of turning. So God is good. Working good things out in your favor. That amen is Luke. Amen. Securing the glory of a new thing. God can be doing new things and yet many missing out of it. God can be doing new things and yet many missing out of it. Spiritual consciousness is key. Until you decide your liberty, you don't have access to one. <laughs> Until you decide 
the release of glory. You don't have access to what? The Bible said, thou shalt have whatsoever you say. You are what you say and talk about on daily basis. You are what you say and talk about on daily basis. Thou shalt have whatsoever you say. Spiritual awakening is key. To stay conscious in the understanding that if this thing is not in Christ, it can't be in me. If there is life in Christ, then I have life in me. Why? For Christ in me, the hope of glory. That is the hope of what I intend to see. The hope of glory. Thank you, Lord Jesus. So, in other words, get Jesus and be saved. Get what? Get Jesus and be saved. To know Jesus is to be at liberty. To know Jesus is to be at liberty. Everyone must, you must, if you will secure the glory of a new thing, if that which, the great things that is happening in a new thing will be part of your life forever, sir. You must know Jesus for yourself. Much more than you desire wealth. Much more than you desire Health, much more than you desire make your breakthrough. Desire to see Christ. My heart was filled with great joy when I hear the choir singing that song aligning with my message. <laughs> to know you, Lord, is to find me. One purpose, one passion. Just to know you more and more. I'm not asking for anything else. This is my purpose. This is my passion. The new chapter, wickedness is risen. And God's ambition with the self, more real is our victory in Christ Jesus. Even your bestie does not want you to be ahead of him. You want to be out of struggle? You need Jesus. The message is simple. He said, when you get to the place of answer, preach Christ. And without special ministering to anything, the people will be getting their answers. Healing will be coming. Breakthroughs will become a reality. Why? If Christ is glorified, everything is released. So it's my turn to enjoy the best of heaven. So it is my turn to enjoy the best of heaven. Now take note of this. You are wired by redemptive grace to be a savior. You are wired by redemptive grace to be a savior. You. You are not ordinary. For God so loved you that he gave his only begotten son to die for you. <laughs> so, he sacrificed the blood of Jesus 
for you to be in custody of the glory of new things. The blood of Jesus has been shed for the perfection of your liberty. For your complete freedom from ancestral cause. The blood of Jesus paid the price for the errors of your parents. And so, no devil from any pit of hell is permitted to accuse you or bring a charge against you. You are in the new era where the blood of Christ is speaking better thing than that of Abel. You are in a new chapter where the blood of Christ is speaking every day saying liberty, liberty, freedom, liberty, freedom, glory, honor, liberty, wealth, health, perfection. Hello, sir. Stop seeing what the enemy wants you to see. Start saying all you can see in Christ Jesus. Oh, there was no need taken off the tent. Oh, that would have cost us another stress, another resources. Another dimension of grace. Oh, there was no need leaving the place of a counter. At least it was our size. But there is need to desire something like God. You are just on heart as human to live in the way of man. But you are not man. <laughs> you are just on heart as human to live in the ways of man but you are a God in your form I like you to know who you are you are a God Colossians 2 verse 9 in you sir at the ocean, dwells the fullness of the God head bodily God head not just his body, but God had. There is something in you. That's why you have never seen any demon so powerful, any wicked one so powerful to appear to you physically and say, I'm the one doing you. If the, you know, if somebody is so, if they are so powerful, he will walk up to you. Why do they have to wait till you sleep? And they come via nightmares. Why can't they walk up to you, see? Somebody just told you now, you are in the choir, singing together. He said, you see, I just like to tell you all the problem of your life. I'm sorry, I've been the one behind it. Even if the message is filled with anointing, you will quickly kill the person there. Pastor, hold your own. No. Pastor, hold your own there. Church, I'm not trying to disrupt the service. I just found my enemy. Are you following me right now? When they can say it to your face, it shows how powerful you are to them. The reason they backbite you is because they are behind you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Securing the glory of a new thing. What to do? Number one, Step into the Messiah mantle. That's what we call the unction of the Messiah. <laughs> when he told me to announce to the church, in a little while, the overflows will come. In a little while, we will have the negative, I mean the positive problems of how to manage the crowd. I've been for service. By 7 a.m., the whole place would have been filled. Everybody waiting for service. And there will be so much crowd outside. And we will just be whispering to them, please, just for a little while, help us manage this place. And before you know what is happening, we're in somebody's S-compound. 
They are opening their gates. We are putting screen there. We are entering the third street, the second street. You must listen. You must out out of when, out of our smallness. He brought this place. Isaiah 54, can you help me please? Isaiah 54 and I read from verse 3. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Isaiah 54, verse 2. Enlarge the place of your tent. It was no need for enlargement, but it was passing an instruction. Enlarge the place of your tent and let them stretch out the curtains of your dwellings. Do not spare any space. Lengthen your courts, for you shall what? Expand to the right and what? I thought somebody's reading with me. You don't have you don't have your Bible in your hand. You are waiting for the screen. The mosaic mantle is in spiritual consciousness. Write it down. When we talk about the mosaic mantle, we talk about the mantle of a Messiah. You are not ordinary. Your family is waiting for you to emerge as the light. Your community is waiting for you to stand up as the light. Your word is waiting for you. Your children are waiting. You should be asking yourself now. And if you're not married, still means you still have more time. Will I want my children to pass through what I'm passing through? Do I want them to have an experience of the delays? <laughs> to start the journey of greatness early is to truly end great. Because there are people who start it in old age and didn't get wait to eat the fruit thereof. You must be able, he said a wise man, listen carefully, a wise man lives inheritance for his children's children. Meaning, in his lifetime, he must see his children. And then he must see his children giving birth to the extent that he will walk in, witness his children's children and say, this is your inheritance. I'm not ordinary. Can you say that? The mosaic mantle is on my life. Say it again louder. I'm not ordinary. The mosaic mantle is on my life. I'm not ordinary. The mosaic mantle is on my life. <clears throat> the mantle of a Messiah is at work on my life. I am not ordinary. So may all heavens hear my word this morning. I am not ordinary. The mantle of a Messiah is at work on my life. <clears throat> I will not give up to the imaginations and the intentions of the evil one. I carry a strange grace I am a savior to the nations of the heart. The mosaic mantle is at work on my life. I am a messiah in my father's house. I am a messiah in my community. I am a messiah in my nation. The mosaic anointing is at work on my life. You know the Bible says thou shalt have whatsoever you say. Sometimes you keep saying it louder that it becomes the only thing you are hearing. 
Now listen, if you are under the sound of my voice and you have been struggling with rising, I speak now in the place of answer. You will rise sweatlessly. I, I, can't, I can't hear your amen. I can't hear your amen. I say you will rise sweatlessly. Your rising will frustrate your enemy. Take your seat. So, you step in into the mosaic mantle. And the mosaic mantle is one of the many reasons of why you must succeed. The reason why some struggle when you pray, you just struggle to receive answers. It takes time. You are asking for something and then it looks like it's coming, it's coming. We're very close, we're very close. And at the time you are about to touch it, something just come, snatch it away. You just lost an opportunity. There has been something wrong. There is a garment you are supposed to put on. My duty is to show you. You must step in into that office of yours, sir. They've been bringing it. But each time they bring it, you are not dressed for it. They've been bringing the breakthrough. They've been bringing the lifting, the open doors. But each time they come, you are not dressed for it. And the way you are dressed, you are dressed. The way you dress, you are addressed. You've not put on the mosaic mantle. You've not wear the garment on you. The world needs to know who you are. No. It's not to sleep, wake up, eat and drink. There is more to your life. You are a savior. It's a day that dwell in darkness. I've seen, I've seen a great light. The great light is in nowhere else. It's not coming from the heavens. It's not beneath the earth. It's on you, man. It's on you. It's on you. You just need to put it on. And carry the consciousness that it is in you. The AMPC, Isaiah chapter 42. The AMPC. Tap your neighbor say, people are open on you. You will agree with me no matter what. Whether every day, whether every week, or whether once in a month, somebody will definitely ask you for help. Please, can I get one, two thousand naira from you? Can I get 10,000 from you? Do I have a witness? The truth is this. No matter who you are, no matter how poor you are, there is still somebody that is poorer than you. Are you listening to me right now? There is, no matter how needy you are, there is still somebody who needs something out of what you need. People are open on you. Tell them, tell them, tell them, tell them. Tell them, tell them, tell them. Say, wake up, wake up, wake up. Now, you will tell them another thing. Tell them, that is why God expects you not to disappoint them. The reason why anyone will walk up to you, take note of this, and say, please, can I have 500 naira from you? It's because he believes that you should have 500 naira. Are you following me? Even though he doesn't believe you have it. But he believes, he sees at the level you are, it's 500. You can walk up now to maybe Benga and then say, sir, my problem is 500 now. Are you following me right now? If you walk up to a little child, you ask according to that level. If you walk up to somebody who asks, his salary is about 50,000 now, you ask. But if you have an understanding and you have access to somebody who earns in millions, 
you ask according to that level. Am I right? And then if you have access to somebody who earn in billion, are you following me right now? You ask according to that level. Praise the Lord. When I know you, I find me. <laughs> Isaiah 42 and verse 5, the AMPC. Isaiah 42, verse 5. We're reading to verse 6. Look at what the Bible says. <clears throat> Thus, don't miss it, please. Thus says God, the Lord. Meaning God himself is the one talking. He didn't send an angel. He's the one talking. Thus saith the Lord God, He who creates the heavens and stretch them forth. The one who creates the heavens and stretch them forth. He who spread abroad the earth that which comes out of it, who gives bread to the people on it and spirit to what? To those who walk in it. He's, he's telling us his future, his personality that I did not ask an angel to come and talk on my behalf. I am speaking to Margaret. I'm not sending angel. It is father to daughter. I am speaking to Ebenezer. Ebenezer, you are my own, my son. I formed you out of me. And I'm not saying, he said, I am the one who gives bread. Angels don't give bread. I am your personal God. I'm the one speaking to you. I'm the one telling you how to secure the glory of a new thing. And look at what he says in verse 6. The spirit of those who walk in it, I, the Lord, have what? I've called you. What did I call you? Say it louder. Say it louder. I have called you, the Messiah, for what? For a righteous purpose. I called you to have answer is the cheapest thing. To step into the Messiah mantle stuff. It comes with sacrifice. It comes with denial. It comes even most time with rejection. Sometimes many of your friends will see Otikba with a mercy. You have accepted madness with religion. They will tell you different things. But you've got to keep your gaze, your focus straight looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher, the author, the finisher of my faith. When he is tied up, I have called you the Messiah for a righteous purpose and what? And in righteousness. When you step in into your office as the Messiah, there is something I will do. Until you step in, I can't do it. When you step in, when you stop seeing yourself as a failure, but as a Messiah. If you can count how you fail, just know you have discovered how not to fail. They tell you, can't you count how many times you have failed? Tell them I'm only trying to see how not to fail. I am not a failure. I am a Messiah. I have been called as a Messiah for a purpose in righteousness. Don't mock me yet if money is not speaking now. It's coming in a little while. Don't mock me yet if what you expect to see has not revealed. My life is not paddled. My life is not moving according to what you can see but according to God's divine writings. There are inscriptions, clear inscriptions. I will take you, Benga, when you step in to the mosaic mantle. 
Look at what it says. I will take you by the hand. There are people who are very far from God. There are people God hold them by the hand and go on a walk with them. The only way you will enter that realm is just to say with your mouth, believe with your heart, I am a Messiah. Jesus said, as the Father sent me, so sent I you. In other words, he sent me as Jesus the Christ. That is Jesus the Messiah, Jesus the Savior. So we have Ugo the Savior. You are a savior in commerce. You are a savior in the economy. You are a savior in fashion. You are a savior in education. You are a savior. What are you doing with your brain? What are you doing with your life? The new thing is not in declaration. New thing is in stepping into responsibilities. It is in stepping in to responsibilities. It is in stepping in to responsibilities. I bought over 16 books. This is over 16 powerful, dangerous e-books. And I had them in here. And I'm devouring. And I said to myself, I should have finished at least 15 in the next two weeks. That we open me up and sweatlessly the virtues will just continue to flow. The virtue will just continue to flow. In the house, to, if all we say is this, in the house today, there is somebody seated here that has the mosaic mantle on him and it is no other but you, sir. And guess what it says? Thou shall have whatsoever you see. I'm a savior. And then he says, you become the savior. I am a solution. He said, then you become the solution. I am the joy of my mother. He said, then you become it. I am the hope of my father. When my father sees me, he will stand afar off with great joy and hope and confidence in his heart. Behold the light of Uguchuku's family. Behold the light of Unduka's family. Behold the light. Ha! Top three people say there is so much about my life. Step into it, sir. Do what? Step into it. Hit your chair. Say, I will. Step into it. Say, 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 say it again. Say it again. Say, I don't care what they have said to me. I don't care the negative utterances man uttered on my life. The word of God prevails above it. Say, I don't care. Say, today, 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 I use the word of God to counter every negative pronouncement, evil seed, that was sown on my ancestors, on my generations, every negative seed that was planted to work contrary to every agenda concerning my family. And today, I establish the word of God. Now, my hand has touched the sword and I stand by the efficacy and the life-giving spirit that is in Christ Jesus and I declare I am a Messiah to the nation of the world. When I know you are found me. Can we sing it just once? <laughs> One purpose to know you, to know you more and more. To when I know you, when I know you, I'll find me. Sing just one passion, just one passion, passion. one purpose. One Jesus, let me know 
come this far is as a result of what you know. Listen. You are what is happening now is as a result of what you grow to know, what they make you believe. This is the common problem in our family. This is it. This is it. I'm showing you the new. Access to Jesus is access to life. Uh, you, in me, in me, dwell the fullness of God head bodily. Can you say it? In me, in me, dwell. Say, I, Olufemi. I, in me, in me, dwell the fullness of God head bodily. In the name of Jesus, inside of me, there is no delay. Inside of me, there is no denier. Inside of me, everything works. Somebody say it inside of me. From me, within me, out of me, the best of God proceed. From me, within me, out of me, the best of God proceed. The negative counsel of man cannot succeed on my life. The intention of the evil one cannot succeed on my life. The intention of the wicked cannot succeed on my life. There is greatness inside of me. There is prosperity inside of me. In Jesus, mighty name, we have prayed. Take your seat. When you get home, those who think they know you, they will find you and will not see you. Maybe they know you as problem. They won't see you as that. I'd like you to listen now. Maybe they know you as one delayed, depressed, frustrated. They won't see you as that. Because the new you is imagined. The new you has emerged. You are a Messiah. Where you are seated. Say it three times. The Messiah mantle is on me. Again. Again. <laughs> Say, I awaken it. <laughs> Say it again. I awaken it. I awaken it. I awake the Messiah mantle. The Messiah mantle. It's on me, sir. Keep saying it until you become it. Keep saying it until, even when you are not saying, you are hearing it echoing, 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 echoing. It's about time. That the young man in the village of Uganda will hear the sound of my voice. It's about time that the nation of the world will listen to me. Listening to the gospel of Christ in its simplicity. It's about time that nations will be subdued. It's about time for the Lord said, I have given you nations. Holy Spirit. Isaiah 42 verse 5 and 6 again the AMPC. He who created the heavens being God and stretched them forth. He who spread abroad the earth and which comes out of it. He who gives bread to the purpose on it and spirit to those who walk on heart. I'm the one who gives spirits. Next time a spirit says they are coming to trouble you, tell them the giver of spirit lives inside you. Thank you, Jesus. And verse 5 says, I, the Lord, have called you. I did not call you a failure. Hello, sir. He knew you would make that mistake. He knew you would take a wrong steps. He said, but count it as a thing of joy when ye fall into diverse trials, diverse temptation. Don't let those negative things put you behind. Don't let it put your back on the ground. You don't 
secure the glory of a new thing by wishing for it. You do. You secure it by becoming it. The kingdom of God sovereign violence and the violent one, those who says I'm not seeing anything even though they fail 49 times. I'm not seeing failure. I'm not. That they, they don't sit down and not failure. No money in their pocket. They declare the riches of the Lord. Heart is panting. Health is failing. They say it bold and louder. We are healthy. Step in, sir. Step in. Step in into the mosaic mantle. Step in. Step in. Step in. Step in. Step in. There are people dying that it is your mosaic mantle that will save them. Your mother is not supposed to be tying same wrapper, one same wrapper round the clock in a month. No. Your mother is supposed to come out and say, where is this driver? Which of the car have they cleaned yet? And go, your mother is to, when she entered the market square, they should know, say, my mom, Buka, don't come. Are you following me right now? She dead on every side. The children in the village should rejoice because of your mother. You have to succeed. You have to succeed the God way. You have. You are a miser. There's a mantle on your life. Quickly, let me tell you how to stay it up. One, acknowledge God gave it. Acknowledge, take note of this. Acknowledge, when you get home, shut the door. You who have called me the Messiah, I bless you. <laughs> You who have called me the Savior, I bless you. Take note of this instruction. You called me a Messiah with all the problem of my life. When I'm not qualified, you qualify me. I exalt you. If you don't know how to sing, play worship song, play praise song, and then begin to sing a lot. You, have you seen the worst aspect of glorious song? It's when your heart is feeling joyful that you are singing the right song. And how do you do that? You put earpiece to your ear and you are singing with the song. People who are listening to you see that you are singing rubbish. Are you following me right now? But you alone standing, you are just joyful and dancing to the rubbish. Are you following me right now? You need to rubbish your enemies. Because when they, are you following me? And you know what? They will just say, ah. Look at this stupid one. And then they walk what? They walk past you. Not knowing you are in another realm. Are you with me right now? Not knowing. Because their intention, they never want you to sing your song right. They never want you to sing it. Because when you sing it melodiously, they won't even stop to appreciate your voice. So God said, be blind to them. Put something new in your ear. I've told you number one, right? Acknowledge what? That God gave it. Number two, wear it. Wear it prayerfully. Wear it. This mosaic mantle on my life, you will speak in Jesus' name. That is wearing it prayerfully. This mosaic mantle on my life, you will produce wealth in Jesus' name. Wearing it prayerfully. This mosaic mantle on my life will be fruitful. This mosaic mantle on my life will deliver the world from the oppressions of the devil. This mosaic, imagine Bishop Olani Yoideku didn't step into it. Imagine Enoch at the way didn't accept it. Thank you, Holy Spirit. 
Isaiah 42, the AMPC, verse 7 to 8. Can we read the message translation first, please? Media, help me with that. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Isaiah 42, verse 7. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Look at what it says. To make a start, the reason why I put on you the mosaic mantle is to make a start at bringing people into the open, into light. The reason why Eno has to succeed is not for Eno. If it's all about Eno, there is no need for him to claim success. When I created him, he was created success. If it's about for you to feed and eat, even the worst of all men eat and live. But it is to bring people into light opening blind eyes. There are people who will never believe their life can be better. When you step in, they have better life. There are people, since they gave birth to them, they have never held chicken thighs. They've never owned the lap of a chicken. They need to have it because of you, sir. Because of you. Because you must pray your way through. You must, you must pray your helper through. God is listening. He's not far from you. Just keep calling. Keep calling. Keep calling till you have seen him. Stay on the scripture. We're going through to verse 8. Stay on the scripture, please. Releasing prisoners from dungeons. Empty the dark prisons. There is a mantle on your life. Understand this. It is a mantle to empty dark prisons. Meaning, if you carry a mantle to empty dark prisons, you are not in the prison. When I stumble on things like this, the devil become more scared of me. When I know you, I found me. If you don't know anything else, you are going home. Lord, when I know you, I found me. You enter the marketplace. When I know you, I found me. I've been looking for who I am. So it is in knowing who you are. Lord, when I know you, I found me. I've been looking for me in marital settlement. When I know you, I found me. I've been trying everything on how to crack the code and be successful. So when I know you, I found me. If that is it, then sit to know him. Seek to know him. Sacrifice to know him. He wants you to know him. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Now the AMPC, Isaiah 42 and verse 7 and 8. To open the eyes of the blind, to bring out prisoners from dungeons. So you communicate your mosaic mantle. You begin to see it evidently producing. That's number three now. You begin to see it evidently producing when you relate it to others. When you relate Christ to others. You are not delivered from it until you can talk of Christ about it. Let me come again. 
you are not delivered from it until you can talk of Christ about it. You are not. He saved you. He is still saving you. You are not you until you can reproduce. Until you can tell somebody else about Christ. It's about time that you wear this mantle and tell people you just need Christ. And I know where you can receive the gospel of Jesus being truly preached. You need Christ. It says to open the blind, their eyes are blind. And your mosaic mantle is to open their eyes to bring out of out prisoners from the dungeon and those who sit in darkness from prison. I am the Lord, that is my name. My glory will I not give to another, nor my praise to grave on the image. God is making you his extension. Tap your neighbor, say stepping into the mosaic mantle. Last, let everything in you give him thanks. Securing the glory of a new thing. What you don't know how to be grateful for, you cannot see more of it. What you don't know, Lord, is this all you can do for me? Can't you see Unduka buying car for his mother? Unduka doing this, sir. If you don't have anything to thank God for, thank him you woke up alive. Are you following me right now? The song says, when I know you, I find me. At the worst difficulty of Christ's life, what he used was thanksgiving. The world was waiting for him. At we think you have told us you are the Messiah. And we know you said you are the Messiah. Show us now. They've been seeing everything. Come easy. Water turned into wine. And we've seen that. Now, a man died. When he was about to die, we called you. We sent for you. So that at least you would try and save your face. But why did you wait for him to die? And after four days, now he stinks. We have even buried him. We have conducted burial rites. Now we disgrace you. Hello, sir. What swallow up disgrace is thanksgiving. They plan, they have had meeting to kick you out of the organization. Shut the door. When you were never present in the meeting, in the board of directors meeting, there is one who is present. When you can't go to that office where they should approve your proposal, your contract, there is one who is there. The Bible says, the heart of the king is in his hands and like a river, he turns it where it pleases him. When I find you, I have me. <laughs> Thank you, choir. Help me celebrate them. They have made my message very easy this morning. That's what means to be spiritually conscious. To be spiritually conscious. That's what it means. Lord, when I know you, I found me. If you know him, you find you. Brother, if you know find you. Sister, if you know him, you find you. The journey is easy. Where your power is, is in Christ. For we have been given a name that is above every other name in the heavens and the hearts. And that at the mention of that name, every name shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus is Lord. Stand on your feet. I want you now to be conscious.
Jesus. And I want you now to tell God, Lord, baptize me with the mosaic mantle. I want, I want you to pray this prayer with all of your heart. Baptize me with the mosaic mantle. Let it be highly evident on my life. Open your mouth now and pray. Pray. I want to hear your voice. Lord, baptize me with the mosaic mantle. Open your mouth. Baptize me, Lord, with the mosaic mantle. Let it be evidently evident on my life. You are not praying. You are not praying. Father, baptize me. Baptize my children with the mosaic mantle. Lord, baptize me with the mosaic mantle. Holy Ghost. Lord, baptize me. Jesus, baptize. You're not praying. Somebody pray, pray, pray. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. I just need the resounding name, please. I've less than about seven minutes to leave this place, but stay conscious. Lord, let the mosaic fire burn inside of me. That it will destroy all the shaft of the enemy. Let the mosaic fire burn inside of me. Open your mouth and pray. Let the mosaic fire. Let the fire of a Messiah burn inside of me. Lord Jesus, let the mosaic fire burn. Let it burn. Let it burn. Let it burn. Let it burn. Come and pray. Come and pray. Pray, 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 pray. Pray, 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 pray. Pray, 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 pray. Let the mosaic fire burn inside of you. are not praying. Let him hear you. Open your mouth. Don't keep quiet. Don't keep quiet. Lord Jesus, let the mosaic fire Let the mosaic fire burn inside of me. Let the mosaic fire burn inside of me. Let it burn. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Somebody say, Father. Say it louder. Say, Father. Come and say it louder. Say, my Father. By this mosaic mantle, let me be too hot for the enemy to undo. Open your mouth and pray. Come and pray. Let me be too hot for the enemy to undo. By this mosaic mantle. Come and pray. Come and pray. Come and pray. Come and pray, come and pray, somebody pray, come and pray, come on, come and pray, pray, come and pray, come and pray, come and pray by this mosaic mantle. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Now get a neighbor. Come on, something you something must happen today. Get a neighbor. Just make sure you are holding on to one person. Just one person. Get a neighbor. Say, I speak on your life. By the mosaic mantle, I declare you too hard for the enemy to handle. Open your mouth and pray. Come and pray. Make sure you're praying. 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 Declare them too hard. Declare them to us. Declare them to us. Declare them to us. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. When you didn't know better, they called you failure. They address you, failure. Who said a thing and it's coming to pass? 
when the mouth of the Lord has not spoken it. Now, his mouth has called you the Messiah. Lord, as the Messiah, my place is among the mighty. As the Messiah, my place is among the great. I walk into wealth. I walk into honor. I will not be rejected. Men will not turn me down. I will not be rejected. My proposals will be approved. My proposal will be approved. My proposal will be approved. Come and pray. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Now this is the last prayer. And you must pray it very well. One who is a Messiah, his sweat is a mosaic sweat. It's carrying the same mantle. Are you with me? What he wears is a mantle. That's why the woman with the issue of blood say, with all of the crowd, there's no way I can touch his face. But this is garment is dragging on the ground. If I can touch it, I can heal. I'm healed. The one who was blind, Jesus wanted to show them if he spit on the ground, it's enough for his healing. Is somebody following me right now? From today, oh God of heaven, everything that is of me carry fire. Everything that is on me carry prosperity. Everything that is on me carry health and wealth. Everything that is of me is engulfed in the presence of God. Open your mouth and pray. Pray! In Jesus' 
mighty name we have prayed. Some of you have not prayed this prayer. Let me open your eyes. Let me talk to you. Listen, quiet. Everybody quiet. Listen. It's because you have not stepped into the mosaic mantle. That's why somebody will cut a part of your cloth. And they say they took it to a shrine and threw something and it get to you. When everything about you become fire, they will not say, oh, this was where he put his feet or he packed the sand and go and attack him. You? Now fire go, answer. Everything about you, including your children. You, you can't be on fire and your children are having nightmare. Nightmare. Ah, no, no, not here. You can't be on fire and somebody on the same line of business is doing something against you, you are not succeeding. You must produce more shops. The one who is even trying to attack you will now become a sub dealer under you. Father, let everything of me be engulfed in your fire. Let the mantle be visible on every aspect of my life. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Lord, let everything. Jesus. My tongue, fire. My walls, fire. My sweat, fire. I am in God. In the power of the Holy Ghost, I am in fire. I can never be small. I am bigger and better. I am more than this. I am the solution, the extension of greatness and virtue. I am the one the world is waiting for. Don't keep quiet, pray, pray. Prosperity flow through me, health flow through well, flow through me. I am fruitful. I am not barren. I receive help. I receive favor. Orimio ni gabode mokoebi. E kalo kotodo parasa keke e karakata kaparate pero pero biro koko to kaparate pero pero makatade enda karoso koporoto para In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Now in 60 seconds, declare that in the name of Jesus, you walk into your answers throughout this week, throughout the remaining days of this year. I walk into my answers in the name of Jesus. I have my testimonies. I walk into my answers. What they say I couldn't have, I surpass it. I walk into it. I have it all speaking. I have it all walking. Come and walk into it. Walk into it. 
Come and walk into it. Walk into it. Come and take a bold step. Walk into it. Walk into your answers. Walk into your answers. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. All eyes closed. I want to pray for you now. All eyes closed. Focus and take what is yours. Before I do that, I don't want anyone here to be hindered or deprived of access to the mosaic mantle and anointing. You are here, you have not accepted Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior. And you want to know him. To know Christ is to be saved. To know Christ is to have life filled with joy and prosperity. You want to accept Jesus. He loves you. And you want to accept him today as your Lord and personal Savior. Just put your right hand on your chest. And say after me, Lord Jesus, you are the son of the living God. And I ask you to forgive me of all my sins. If you're praying that prayer, make sure your hand is on your chest. Your right hand is on your chest. Forgive me of my sins. Write my name in the book of life. Make me your own. I believe that you died for me. You died, washed my sins away. And you gave me life so I can be like you. Lord, I want to know you. Save me your mercy. Save me in your mercy. You prayed that prayer. I want to pray with you now. All eyes closed. If you have prayed that prayer, I want to pray with you now. I want you to just come forward. Come, 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 come in front. You prayed that prayer that Jesus should save you. Come, come is waiting. Yes, 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 yes. Keep coming, keep coming. Keep coming, yes, keep coming. You prayed that prayer. Just come, come. You pray that prayer. Come, he's waiting for you. Don't keep Jesus waiting. Don't keep him waiting. You pray that prayer. Don't keep him waiting. Lord, we thank you. Now, all, everyone, open your two hands. And I just want your amen to be very resounding. Lord, from the foundation of the heart, you never call these ones a failure. You never call them barren. Make sure your two hands are open. You never call them depressed. You never call them outcast. Therefore, you address and you call them a Messiah. For purpose and in righteousness, I speak today. Let the Messiah mantle, the mantle of a Messiah, be take over unction. Let it rest on them now. The mantle that will help them to fulfill purpose. The anointing that will help them to become the best. Let it be evident on them in the name of Jesus. Amen. Oh God of heaven, the owner of the heavens and the earth, I decree right now, whatever they've been looking for, that which they've been saying, God do, God do it, God do it. I decree now, by the efficacy of today's service, their answers are delivered. Amen. Their answers delivered. Amen. Their answers delivered. Amen. What you are trusting God for, what you are looking for, I see God giving it to you now. Amen. That amen can be resounding. Amen. I say, I see God giving it to you now. Amen. You will return a testifier. Amen. You will be ten, thousand, ten times better. Amen. And the best of God will speak on your life. Give him praise, he's worthy.